Alright guys, today my video is about how to make pyrotechnic charcoal and uh, this video is part of uh, my planning for my website as well as this channel to direct those who have not yet started in pyrotechnics to help them get started legally and safely. Making pyrotechnic charcoal requires a crucible and for this purpose I have bought a paint can as can be seen here, paid $2.99 for it. Uh, since I bought mine new, I'm going to have to uh, burn off this uh, coating on the inside before I use it for charcoal, so I'm going to go ahead and do that with uh, a torch here. Alright, after the cannon lid have been burned and then given a good wash to get rid of any uh, ash left over from the enamel on the inside of these cans. Uh, a hole needs to be put in the lid to vent gases produced by the charcoal. In this case I'm actually going to do three holes in the lid using a 3 16 inch drill bit, but one hole in the center of 1 quarter inch will also do. Here is the lid, and that makes a finished crucible. The next step, once your crucible is made, is to select your wood. Now the wood to be used for charcoal determines uh, what it's going to be good for. A soft wood is typically good for black powder, and a sappy wood such as pine, this is white pine here, is typically good for uh, streamer stars such as tiger tail. And so that is what I'm going to use for this run. I'm going to load up my crucible with this uh, white pine here. And first you want to strip off the bark. I'll do that with a screwdriver in a minute here. Alright, with your crucible loaded up, go ahead and uh, hammer the lid on here. Won't be able to do it with one hand actually, I don't think, but nice and tight. Then get yourself a fire going. Alright, here you can see I'm getting my fire going in this, uh, this is a steel five gallon bucket. And once I get this uh, fire uh, going all the way around the, the bucket there, I'm going to throw my crucible, my paint can, right inside on top of the burning logs with uh, it'll help to have this this handle here pulled out so that when uh, when it's done cooking uh, you can just stick a uh, stick a piece of wood in there lift it right out of the fire without burning yourself so what I'll do is just uh, wait for this fire to get going a little better here and then uh, go on from there alright this fire is now going well enough to throw my crucible on here, so that's what I'm going to do. Set it right on top for now. Just let it cook like that for a while. After about five minutes, the holes on top of this crucible will begin to uh, release smoke. Now you can see, this is about 15 minutes in, the smoke is uh, pouring out of these three holes here. See the smoke being released is <clears throat> very flammable. This is the uh, the oils from inside the wood burning off. You can see that the violence of the flame has begun to settle down. This is about 50, mi 50 minutes in, and uh, until this just about dies away, uh, the crucible should be left in the fire. It is finally time to remove this charcoal. The flame has died. So what I will do is quickly take this out of the fire 
and put a damp rag over these holes and that will keep air from uh, getting inside and ruining this brand new charcoal. So now all that needs to be done here is to wait for this charcoal to cool down to air temperature. And here is our charcoal. You can see if I take a piece here and snap it in half. It's very easy to do. And it is black all the way through the center, meaning that this is fully cooked.